Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for listening. Today we are going to talk about the sickness in the camp. The sickness in the camp. That is the title of this message. And the sickness in the camp is affecting many, many people. Those that are spiritual as well as those that are unspiritual. This sickness deals with a number of factors, especially when it comes to relationships. We're talking about ethnicity. We're talking about gender. And we're also talking about social class. And when you have battled personally as well as publicly with issues like these, the sickness in the camp begins to spread. Many men who have been rejected by women, who have been disrespected, hurt, they will go on these long rants and talk about how this particular ethnicity is no good and that is why I only date this one and that one. There are women that will do the same thing. It's a spiritual issue. Rejection. And I talked about this in other audio based on a book called Pigs in the Parlor. You see, the enemy has a way of causing us to focus on one single issue to determine what it is that keeps us angry, keeps us wanting to run from this person and that one. Oh, he will tell us that it is money and it's only money. This is the problem why you can't be able to do this, that, and the other. Then he'll come along and he'll have another issue and he'll say that it's because of all those white people, black people or whatever the case may be. And this is why you can't get ahead. And then the enemy will come and he will say it's because of all those men. That's why you keep going through like you go through. It's because of all those scandalous women. That's why you are doing what you're doing. Oh, the enemy likes to take a single issue, blow it up. Meanwhile, you're not looking at all of the factors that led up to that issue, which usually boils down to us being our own worst enemy. Come on, some of you all are in that right now. See, you're blaming, you're blaming all the black women for why you go through like you go through. And then you're blaming all of the white establishments and so forth. And you're telling people that the reason why we can't do this and that is because of capitalism. And the reason why we have a chasm between, you know, uh, this group and that group is because, well, you know, those no good foreigners. Come on. Some of you all, you go on that level, a level that's unwise, that keeps up all sorts of drama. And then you wonder why, why is it that I cannot tap into the supernatural? Why is it that God does not give me the favor, Lord Jesus? Why is it that I am not doing the types of things that's going to help humanity? Why is it that I feel often angry and upset? Oh, you see, it's spiritual issues. It boils down to spiritual issues, issues that are external that you take and they become internal. And then once the nastiness, the bitterness, the rage, the upset starts to fester on the inside, you start saying stupid things. Lord Jesus, some of you all know what I'm talking about. Some of these people out here, they'll say stupid things. Things like all blacks are this and all whites are that and all these homosexuals and all these kids and you know, all the Americans and, you know, they got to start talking in ways that it's all of them. And it's never about, it's never about that person who's running their mouth. Oh no, uh, -uh. they have it all figured out. But then I love the God that we serve because then when they think they know, they don't know because they end up in these different relationships and business partnerships and so forth with so-called the 
better race or better gender, better ethnicity, only to find out that you got even more problems. So once again, it comes back down to spirituality, doesn't it? It comes back to, I need a creator. I need a savior because my own efforts aren't working. This, I'm my own God, is just not working. I sound like a buffoon. I look like a buffoon. I'm doing stupid stuff. Lord Jesus. You see, I warn the young people to be careful listening to adults who want to vent in such a way where they're talking like women's the problem. White is the problem. Black is the problem. Asian, Italian, Japanese, you know, they're the problem. I warn young people about listening to folks like that. Because you see, what they're doing is they're taking their rejection, their upset, their personal experiences, which weren't good with this particular group and so forth, and they're putting it on them. They're saying, look, you know, you're my next recruit. I've got to keep the poison going. And if you're not a wise young boy or girl, and you don't really understand where are is all of this coming from, you're going to start spreading the poison. It's going to start sticking to you. You'll find yourself saying and doing things just like that mentally ill adult who's been feeding all of this foolishness into your spirit. That's why I don't deal with those Folks who speak Spanish, I mean, because I love English, and that's all I'm going to deal with. You know, come on. Come on. The ignorance. The ignorance. And so here we are having these spiritual issues, and we need, come on, a supernatural Savior to deal with those spiritual issues. Because man can only take you but so far in your healing process. Woman can only give you but so much relief in your healing process. My question to some of you all is, do you want to stop hating that particular ethnicity? Do you want to stop getting upset over foolishness related to money in your relationship? Do you want to move beyond the silly talk with some of your friends when it comes to various people, places, and things? Do you want to get past all that? If you do, then that's when you have to look at yourself. Look at the damage that you've already caused. Make amends. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Ask the Holy God to come into your heart, your mind, your spirit. Give you some wisdom. And start doing the types of things that's going to encourage others. That's going to make you feel better about being a human being on this planet. But spewing all sorts of hatred towards a certain ethnicity or a certain gender or a certain group. That's not the way to go. Over the course of my life, I've been exposed to all sorts of people, places, and things. If it wasn't those that had all sorts of, um, shall we say, issues with their identity, then it was those that had issues with their gender putting all sorts of stuff out there and basically trying to get a recruit. You know, they wanted a, a, a new recruit for this particular movement and they wanted a new recruit for that particular movement. Meanwhile, all sorts of upset is taking place in one's personal and professional life. But they don't want you to see all that. They just want you to keep on spreading the poison. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. And so as I'm talking to you, there's things that God is even speaking to me about that there's going to be some more change taking place. I've got to be able to go in a direction where God is going to do some things that my thinking on some issues is going to have to change. Because, see, we pray the kind of prayers that we want to see some differences take place in our lives. We want to come up higher. And in order to do that, that means that our thinking is going to have to change. 
And the critics, oh, some of them, they're going to want to keep you in that place. The critics are going to want to keep you in the old nature as God is taking you and refining you and making you that new creature. But you're going to have to say no to those folks and you're going to have to make a stand and you're going to have to say or take a stand and you're going to have to tell them, listen, I'm not that person anymore. I know you like that person. I know you got along with that one. I know that that particular person you got benefits from, but I'm a new creature in Christ and all old things have to pass away you see but if we don't do that then we're going to be those individuals on YouTube come on that like to yell and curse and talk like idiots about these people okay who have rejected them or this person who they're still in love with, but they don't want to admit it. So everybody else got to pay. Everybody else got to listen to all of the craziness because now they're taking the one issue and they're doing what? They're spreading it. They're, they're adding fuel to the fire. And I will tell you that, hey, there's a fire. There's a fire that some of these folks who want to keep spreading all sorts of stuff in their waking life. Oh, there's a fire. There's a fire once their eyes is closed. Because this heavenly God that we serve, we have to remember now, he's a loving God, but he's also what? A jealous God. He's a vengeful God. He's a God that you want to walk with him, but then you turn around and you do some things that you know is not right. Then he's going to let you know about those consequences. Those consequences as a result of stepping on holy ground, as a result of praying holy prayers. Don't get God involved in your foolishness. If you're going to walk this walk, you've got to walk it in a way where you're not taking God and using him in a way where he's like poison to people. You see, because sometimes that's what people will do to justify their hatred toward a particular ethnicity, a gender, a social class. They'll say, hmm, let me see. Let me see. What, what can I find, you know, to back up all of this stuff that I've been going through? And you know who these people are when you listen long enough to them because some of the telltale signs is that rage, that rage where they start cursing and they start name calling and they start acting like complete fools. You're like, wait a minute, you just gave me a bunch of scriptures and now I'm seeing all of this ugly going on with you. And then once again, they'll say things in a way where it becomes, you know, a blaming game. You know, it's all those people. It's you know, the the particular ethnicity, it's that particular gender, it's that particular social class that they have problems with. And then in just about all of their videos, they keep coming back to that same black person or that same white person or, you know, people in their family, you know, whatever it might be. But it it the rage, you can hear it, and it gets to a place where you just can't take it. You're like, I, I don't want to hear this anymore. This is sick. This isn't loving. This isn't kind. This isn't encouraging. This isn't benefiting me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. So I'm taking this time out to pray for those of you all who feel this anger towards certain people, places, and things. You know, this rage that just doesn't stop, it seems. It seems like the minute you see a media story, you know, about a particular group or what have you, you, you say negative things and you assume that everybody is like that. Oh, it is a sickness. It's a sickness. And we've got to rid ourselves of that sort of thing. Lord Jesus. So I take this time out right now. Lord Jesus, this listener is battling with all sorts of issues on the inside. They have most likely listened to parents or, you know, relatives or coworkers or what have you that have put seeds of negativity inside their spirit concerning a particular ethnicity, gender or social class. And I'm asking 
in Jesus name that you will deliver them from this that they will have the peace of mind that you will remind them each and every day that they can be free of this if they just change their thinking if they just uh, come up out of themselves and and the hurt and the rejection and the bitterness of the past that they will be free Lord Jesus and that they'll be mindful of what they're saying to others about different ethnicities and genders and social classes I pray these things in Jesus name I pray that your divine spirit your Holy Ghost will fall upon them this day I pray in Jesus name that they will continue to find the types of audio that will uplift them find the types of video that will encourage them to live righteously to do what is right according to your will and not according to their own. I ask these things in Jesus name. And listener, please do take the time out to pray each and every day like this until you see a move of the Holy Ghost within your mind, body and spirit where you're no longer talking hateful, no longer blaming others, no longer acting vengeful and other things as a result of the hurt that you've gone through over the years. To God be the glory.